Everything we see, people think only the white person did it. Everything we see, see an airplane, oh, the white person do it. See an MRI machine in the hospital, you see a computer, they think it's only a white person can do it. But you are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide. You are looking at him. And he's not white. He's black just like you. He happens to be from Ghana. But I'm not limited by what I've been told in my schools growing up and all of that. I'm limited by what I think I can do. So I want you all to think yourself that you can do anything that any person, whether Chinese, Indian, white, whatever they've done, you can do it. Because in 1985, when they were having problems in, in moving the technology of laser fiber optics from the laboratory scale to industry, they called MIT. And MIT sent me to Corning Glassworks. You know, some problem they've been trying to solve for 15 years. It took me one year to solve it, to move it from the lab to industry. That's why I wrote, I wrote the book, because I know that what a person, a white person can do, I can do it too. But what does it take to awaken the giant in Africa? First of all, top technology experts like Bill Gates, they plan and execute, let's say for me Microsoft, right? Like Apple computer, founder Steve Jobs, they plan and execute. They don't ask anybody, oh, should I form an Apple computer? No. God has given the talent so they go ahead and do, mm -hmm. make it happen. For example, I wasn't asked, but I designed the bullet train, the fast train for DRC, DR Congo. They didn't ask me, but I thought that's what's needed to awaken the giant in Africa. Therefore, my people are in DR Congo, who the president, Chikedi, presented my design of the bullet train, and it's called Lumumba Express. Okay. So all of you say Lumumba. 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 Lumumba Express. And that's TJV Lumumba, the high-speed train from Lumumba, going from Kinshasa all the way to the border. So that's very important. That's how you are working the giant in Africa. That's how you do it. That's very important. All of you, all of you here, you should do the same thing. Don't yes. wait to be told. Don't wait to be told. Okay? Serious. You know why they say Dr. Men says the great minds of the 21st century? That's our responsibility. That means I got to support and push for the awakening of the giants in Africa. After and the Africa Union 2063 agenda, as I'm discussing with President Chikedi of DR Congo, should be supported by these bullet trains crisscrossing yeah. Africa. Because you know, you cannot just take the ship and put it in the port. The gap is actually going from the port to the inland. Because the roads are bad. You put something on the road, going from here to Burkina, it may spoil if that's fruits. If that's fish, it may spoil. You know? And so we got to put these proposals that will transform Africa in place where we are using bullet trains and we are using fast airplanes. The airplanes will have cold storage. So if I put my fish and stuff in it, it will get to the other Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. We're going to have to end here.